Okay. Setting up the stream. Da, 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 da. Hold on. Mm. Okay. Booting up my phone. So I can actually read the chat. Whoopee, how about that? So then. The journey shall continue. Of Ravan, the reluctant fate binder. Who is now slowly getting more power over time. For the spires that he is yet to learn more of. And now, we continue in the Stone Sea to, well, to the, yeah, to the Stone Sea to find a way to get that motherfucker Karen from the Disfavorite who's somehow tanking the effects of the Edict of Stone. Right then, let's, oh, okay. let's play Tyranny. And according to the wiki that I looked up, yes, I'm getting quite close to the end of Act 2. That was because I was wondering how long Act 2, two was going to be, so, yeah. It turns out I'm not actually that far away from completing Act 2. And Act 3 is a little bit short, because I guess, I don't know, it's supposed to be the climax, and usually the climaxes aren't long. So, yeah. But anyway, back to the adventure! Just gotta wait for this to load. Oh, here we go. Look at my quests. Yep. Tuck Golf Co. Golf Glow. What the fuck? Why is the mountain spire glowing again? <laughs> Did I unlock another thing? Oh, whatever. Ah, uh, yes. To the gulf glow, gulf glow old walls. We probably have to kick the shit out of more Bane, because, well, yeah, it's the old walls. <laughs> There's a lot of shit going on there. And I think, yeah, I have a bit of a side quest to do, because I... Because of that favor. 
Well, actually, no, 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 it's the main quest. What am I talking about? But yes. Ravon, my character Ravon is just so happy to be able to embrace the Beastman culture once more. As he was not able to in such a long time, ever since he was uh, enlisted as a Fate Binder. To Tunin's court. So, uh. Hi! Hello, Lycon. Oh, oh no, Fate Binder! I've done my duty! Y you can't be dragging. You can't drag me back out here! Who are you, and why do you think I would drag you somewhere? He falters mid-step, stumbling on a smattering of loose stones. Y you're an officer of the court, aren't you? Look, I know I'm breaking my work order with the Earth Shakers, but it's not like we made it real. Legal contract or nothing, I swear. It was just a handshake. You got to believe me. Please, it's not safe out here. It's the Beastmen. They've gone feral. They're trying to slaughter me along with the damn Earth Shakers. I don't want to die. You got to let me free. You're safe for now. Tell me what happened. After the sea split, I thought I'd made a living by mapping the land. I know the area well enough now, so the Earth Shakers hired me to guide them. They were looking for some kind of precious stone. But the Stone Stalkers seemed to have other plans. When we got further in, they were already guarding the shards. One of the beasts nipped at the Earth Shakers, so I fled. I've done my job, Fate Binder. Getting ripped to shreds isn't part of it. Fate Binder! Wait, is that a man or a woman? Yeah, okay. Fate Binder! The Earth Shaker pounds his chest once in salute. He casts a sideways glance to the Lycon before speaking. Ignore this coward and allow me to enlighten you on our situation. Assuming you haven't come to us tr to cause us trouble. W well, you did don't need me with a Fate Binder here. You do want to go at it with the Beastman? It's your funeral. I'm out of here. Basilon. You have him you have impeccable timing, as we seem to have entangled ourselves in a rather bloody rumble with the beastmen. Rumble She glances she scratches her ribs and yawns. Stone stalkers don't rumble. Stone stalkers sorta What's happened? If I'm to intercede, I'll need you to spare no details. He's going to you, suddenly ill at ease. Perchance you are not a faint binder who is aligned with the Scarlet Chorus, aren't you? Uh, of course not. Of course not, smile. He nods assured. I heard rustlings of a certain rumor. He clears his throat. As I presume you are traveling in your official capacity as an arbiter of the court. Please allow me to f fully explain our present circumstance. I assure you. Uh, oh, what the heck? Okay. I assure you, we will. We would not be here if not if it weren't wholly necessary. You see, the Azure Lith loads in this region are incredibly important. They are what Lord Cairn from his campaign orders in the Stone Sea to begin with, and it's absolutely imperative that we study their effect and refractive properties in arcane applications. We hired a local scavenger to show us where he had seen a high concentration of crystal loads, thus he had led us here. At first, the beastmen were amenable, amenable to our requests, but shortly after our excavations began, they became, they became wrought with anger. Apparently, we were stealing from their ancestors or some fool or some such foolery. There is what appears to be a leader among them, Red Fang, but she retreated into the spire. Before I could bring her to reason, before I could could bring her to reason, now we're trapped in a vicious standoff. Now I'm hesitant to how, on how to proceed. I already have business with the beastmen here. Do nothing until I've spoken with them. Excellent, Fate Binder. Be quick about it if you could. I can say the tribes have a reputation for patience, and I would like to avoid conflict if possible. Lack patience, human swarm, and buzz at beast woman like corpse flies. It's natural for a beast woman to squash such annoying pests. Come now, kills in shadow. Restrain yourselves. As much as I also hate the fucking disfavored for slaughtering my tribe of beast oh elder teeth 
Those are teeth grow from earth, blood of stone stalkers' ancestors. Humans will not take them. Well then. <clears throat> but yes, as I was saying, yes, I am fucking pissed off with the disfavorite slaughtering my own goddamn tribe, and I have to serve as a bloody fate binder and having to cooperate with them. These crystals are the product of your superstitious. Oh shit, oh. Ow! Creep softly in shadow. Strike swiftly to kill! Oh my god, you're supposed to disable the trap, not walk into it. Oh my god. Okay, hold on a second. <sighs> Damn it. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, team. Let's continue. Uh. Yeah, I'll go here first. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me to unlock this. That wasn't so hard. An axe. It's two-handed, long claws, rage. Eh. I could sell that. I'm let me tell you, just uh, yoink. Don't mind me. Sorry, I can't. What? Can I not? Listen to me, you filthy mutt. These crystals are crucial to our efforts. We will have them one way or another. Hmm. Touch elder teeth and beast woman will tear out of. The beast man growls at you. Oh, sorry, but. Sorry. Sorry. I, I was just taking a look, I swear. Have I been up? Oh shit. Let me just unlock a bit more of the map. What the fuck? Oh, oh wait, this must be the shortcut down, okay. Uh okay, let's go down here first. Hold in the tab key to see if there's anything I can interact with. Behold, another box. Wink. Anywho, uh. Right. Time to speak with Red Fang and also take over the Aurora Spire, I think that's what it's called. And I think I'll get the Library Spire first because I. I think because you need to research all all the different recipes you need first for like the good shit you can make at the forge before you can make them, so yeah. Hello. Wander no closer, human! Flee now or explain presence in stone lands. The beastman hunkers forward, muscles bunching in a readiness to strike. A menacing growl rumbles low from the back of his throat. Even mention tribes ill to teeth. And beastmen will pitch human's body to ground below. I mean no I mean your tribe no harm, though I have come for any teeth. I am only here to speak with Red Fang. No! Red Fang does not wish to speak with human. Leave now and beastmen will live. I protect the tribes. I don't hurt them. You can trust me, for that I am Kith. Dab. Hunter background, baby. The beastman slits his, sli his silvered eyes suspicious. He leans closer, warm, gnarled fingers, enclosing your throat as he snuffs up and across your exposed skin. A rough, dry tongue laves behind your ear before finally the beastman withdraws, satisfied. Humans cannot be kith, yet humans does not taste of lie, taste of tribe. He nods once, hurt. Enter, speak with Red Bank. But no, beastmen will watch Shovel's sharp eyes. We'll rent human to shreds if human strikes like tribe mate. Do not worry. I am with you. I will not attack you. It's gonna point. Oh. oh, this is kind of awkward. Oh, wait, no, I'm climbing down. Okay. I thought, I thought they were gonna jump me for a second. Oops. Okay, let, just let me investigate here. Treasure hunters, okay. So they looted the treasure hunters, okay. 
I'm not sure what I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all these crystals. <laughs> I'm just gonna take those crystals. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these, but I mean they seem important, so what do we got here? Iron leaf. I don't use any of these. But they make good money. Make good rings. What do we got here? Light leather vest. Hmm. I see. Yoink. Uh, I'm just gonna climb back up here. Sorry about that. Right. Uh, I'm gonna check out what's up That there. wasn't so hard. What is this? Broken ball. Ooh. Hmm. That's actually not bad. I say it's hmm. That's about the same, but has an additional effect. Okay. Uh, I just actually wait. What's this one? Bronze guitar. It's an exquisite quality. Uh. Oh, I'll, I'll sort that out then. All right. I look looking good. Right. What else we got up here? Can't do that. Oh. Can't do that. Oh. Anything else up here? Hey, over there. Oh, what we got? Ooh, potion. Put that potions. All right. Uh. Okay, uh, I know you need that. I know you need that for certain. You, you need more potions. Conquer that spire, shall we? Kills and shadow, can beastmen sense the magical field that the spires radiate? <sighs> mean bitter thrumming in back of throat makes beast woman's lips curl. If was better mystic like brood mother, could see where earth blood beats through spire. Thank you. 
Future readers, if, oh. if I have them, will Hello. appreciate your insight. Wait, hold on a second. I'm just gonna save the game first. Boop. All right. Okay, they didn't notice. <laughs> Hello, Red Fang. The beast woman cocks her head to one side, listening intently. Her ears flicker once, twice, and her eyes now suspiciously. Who oh, bats here? Soft, soft, slow. Who oh, brave to approach Red Fang? Guards up, stone stalkers, old walls, den. Speak, human. Quick, quick, explain. Grimly, she spreads a grin, revealing teeth and... Stapled and brown as her muddy eyes. Or Red Fan will whip trespassers jaw from head. I've come to settle your quarrel with the Earth Shakers. How will humans settle quarrel? Will not simper and whine on side of other humans? I would like to resolve this peacefully. The Beast Woman swivels her massive head in one side, curiously splayed on. Curiosity splayed on her face. Even a red man could trust human. Only tribesmen can speak for stone stalkers. Only tribesmen mates can make promises on behalf of tribe. Initiate me into your tribe and I shall negotiate on your behalf for a peaceful resolution that both parties can accept. The Earth Shakers will not will will not further harm your lands. I swear to it. She rears back, biting off the premature snarl. Reckless, well. She regards you seriously for a moment, finally deciding with a derisive snort. Can try, can die, whimpering in own blood spill. Stone Stalkers are born, yes, but not built from battle. Maybe human can survive, right just savagery and stone. This woman thinks not. You need to tell me what to do. You need only to tell me what to do. Not the tracks if human has to ask. As a stone stalker way of life, as is each right. Right of stone is blood bath. So I won't die. Blue, strong or weak. The beast woman hops contently and drops all fours in a mock bow. Chosen fight as well. Await human outside. Don't choke on blood. Human who wants join tribe. Very well. I shall survive your trial by combat, and I will solve this problem for our tribe. Meanwhile, uh, I'm just gonna take a little charcoal level of this. Your roar smile. Pressing the charcoal to a parchment, you capture a blurry but proportionate image of an ancient relief. With enough collected inference, it might be impossible. Okay, blah 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 blah. As you work, Lantry hovers near. See how that pattern looks by broken along two edges? I think there's more engraving to what than what's there. Then sh we shall look for more. Lantry nods. Agreed. If we collect enough sketches and imprints, we could no doubt reconstruct the original image in its entirety. I agree. Ain't that odd. Oh. Eh, okay. Any bets on which sigil unleashes... What the fuck? Sigil of More Pride Magic. Caring too much. Sigil of Pride Magic. What do we got here? Okay, well, there's that. And, oh. Well, I could probably figure it out in this. Uh, anyway, uh, Pride Magic. Sigil of Pride Magic. What's this? Only to affect you, but become more powerful and last longer. Hmm, that's pretty cool. But anyway. Right, uh, actually, let me look at that drawing again. Hmm. Okay, okay. I could probably figure it out from there. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll have Ravon do it first. I'll have Ravon do it by himself. Right. Here we go. Puzzle solving time.
like that if assuming it's symmetrical okay I can just hold it here. <laughs> oh, that's convenient. Oh, shit. Uh, alright. In that case... On it. Hold on, let me reset it. Let me reset that. Okay, hold on. I can figure it out. Bada beam, bada boom. We got it. Human made shrine stones glint and wide. That's what. Oh. Alright. Well. Time to check out this spire. Yep, I don't even need the completed imprint. It was just that easy. <laughs> I was just able to deduce from that one imprint. And that was it. Yeah, all I did was just assume that the other parts were just symmetrical to the other side. Easy. Now time to claim more power! Alright! Hell yeah! Baby! I got a motherfucking Spire, bitch! Didn't even have to collect any more imprints. Now, fam now fa the now familiar light of the spire causes skyward, trailing off towards the horizon in the direction of Vendrian's well. You feel the ground beneath you fall away as you give in to the warmth of the energy surrounding you. The aurora spire in the engulfed glow feels violent and unsettled, like it would claw itself from the earth if it had the strength. The th stones, though clean, can feel slick with blood. Someone of ritual and turmoil of the stone sea has warped this isolated place over the years. You'll feel the energy well up from the ground and with reckless enthusiasm form a bond with Vendrian's well. This isn't... this place isn't what you call... stable. It's a wonder that the spire hasn't fallen down a chasm. Feels good. Tastes like blood slicked on tongue. Feels like kith and killing and claws furrowing into flesh. Such savage power. Feels like rotting it howling in shadow of rot storm. Is it me, or is the magical field of the spire in motion churning? This place seems to come alive to your presence, like the mountain spire did, 
only here, instead of a constant arcane hum, it's more, uh, an intermittent scrape and shout. Is it a steady hum, but an erratic choir? Waterfall, maybe? All I know for sure is that one of these days I'm going to write a treatise on the spires that will be the envy of, well, the handful of sages still left. Alright. Sick. I will build a library. Con yep, research magical knowledge edicts artifacts once built in any spire and grants bonus to. Yep, build that shit. Gotta build the library because with the library I can research a bunch of different plants that I can use for the forge to make OP stuff. <laughs> I could even make artifacts, which I definitely need because I do not want to get my ass handled in combat. Hell yeah. Oh shit. If it isn't- oh. Greetings, Fatebinder. The sage bows low before you. The quill is in his hood, brushing the ground. Yeah, currently at, uh, two rat. I don't believe we have met. Indeed, and I'm afraid I have you at a disadvantage, he nods. Sage Garrus, formerly of the Cid Phelim Citadel, scribe and researcher extraordinaire, not to bore you with the honorifics. When I heard about the library you were building, I just had to come. I watched the workers as they hauled the stone and scrolls up here. There was an awful lot, and they were very tired, so I did what I did, what little I could do to assist. Then on the last day, as everyone is leaving, I just stay behind. Then why are you here? I take it you'll need someone to organize the, this collection of scrolls, someone to catalog new texts as you discover them, and someone to organize research efforts. As your scribe, I can do all three. In fact, I'm excited to get started. I've already started looking through your collection, and he cuts himself off in size. To be honest, I need the work. The Vellum Citadel isn't exactly as it, up to its old standards, and I'm afraid there aren't... Many safe places where a sage can employ during the war. What can you research for me? Oh, any number of topics. Magic, alchemy, the history of the world. You have an impressive collection. Not as large as the Vellum Citadel, perhaps, but no sense in crying over bad parchment. I've started compiling a list of possible research topics. Allow me to show you. Sweet. What? Oh, I need recruits. <laughs> Okay, so I can in fact research all of that because I literally have 18 scrolls because I collected a shit ton from the Simon Archive, so yeah. I just need more people. Yeah, I just need more people. Alright. I'm loving this. Who are you? That's oh, just a spy worker. Boink. Sweet. These are scrolls I can certainly use for the research effort. Alright. Well, I certainly need more stuff. Uh, let's see here. I have a lot of money, so... What do I get? Hmm... I'll get you... I'll get you. And get you. And wait, how many? That's three out of six. Okay. Control fire and motion. Control stone and force and use of that. Get you. <clears throat> oh yeah, I need you. And, uh, yeah, I just get you. Boop. And there we go. Alright, and guess. Alright, getting fully stocked. Loving the look of the, of the library spire, not gonna lie. And I want to research something. I must have to bloody wait for them to get here. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah. Research artifacts. 
how long until then? Wait, how long is it gonna take for them to research? What's the status of your research? The work continues, of course. He wipes away the deep circles under his eyes, leaving a smear of black ink. I'll notify you as soon as we have results. Okay, I assume I'm just gonna get a message or something. Yo, Eb, what up? Eb, not take your approach, and offers a curt bow. What is it you need? We should discuss matters at hand. I have a great deal of ambivalence regarding the Scarlet Chorus. Narad is worse than Kai, so I must ask. What is your goal behind working with the voices of Narat? The main is destroyed. The disfavored have made a mockery of every army in the tears. E uh, do I have anything to give to Eb? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I do have anything to give to Eb. Because I think I did have uh, a staff, but then I end up selling it. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Uh, let's see, I'll go to the mountain spire again, just to see what's up, before I do anything else and sell all the random junk I got <laughs> for more money, because it's good to have a lot more money, especially when I can save that for the forge, because, yeah, because I looked it up and yeah, you do in fact need rings to forge stuff, so it's good to have a lot of, it's good to have quite a bit of rings in the bank. So yeah. The fuck? I said talk to him. What do you got for sale? Alright. What was this? That was just pulses. Oh. Oh, that's where it went. I was wondering about that. Uh... Ching. Uh, sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Wait. Nah. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Okay, just sell that. Uh, bronze for that. I don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna use it anyway. Oh my god, it's buns. Oh, that's a double. That's two added. Alright, have you made anything for me lately? Yep. Huh. When the heck did you get this? battery oh. uh, yeah that's about it back to the spire
Wait, what do we need again? We just meet outside. Hmm. Oh, okay, near the spire. Oh yeah, and the reason why Ravon wants to do this peacefully is because, I mean, yeah, he hates the disfavorite as much as the Beastmen do, but at the same time, he does not want to risk compromising his position as a Fate Finder, because that can lead to many consequences, honestly, and Ravon does not want to die. So, yeah. Oh. Yep, they're here. Please save. Oh, save. And here we go. Oh boy. Hello, Corpse Eater. Human and human's pack which to become stone stalkers. Think to survive right or savagery and storm? Never in all block rock seasons has Beastman heard of such strange happening. I will treat human no different than our coming of season worms to earn rights and honor of true and full tribe mates. Humans must best of best three of tribesmen's toughest savage swift fighters. The beastman grins viciously before bowing his head to you. To become stone stalkers, you must must human only must win fights. As all stone stalkers endure right in young season, fight is to prove strength and show skill, not for killing. He glances to the three British warriors at the side, but some past fight stone suckers become too vicious. Deaths happen if not careful, yes. The three warriors bob and laugh, a snarling high and high pitched sound bordering on hysteria. She snorts, unamused, can try, only pray to die will be stone stalkers. With a deadly grin, she assesses her opponents. Stone worms are weak worms. It's true even for a time tribe's toughest warriors. Don't fight Shadow Hunter and Alpha. Kills in, to kills in Chato, Robert and White as Alpha becomes first human to join Sunsucker's tribe. Let us begin. The beastman stars with excitement, crooking, crooking its claws to draw the others forward. Darkfoot, Crimson Storm, Gormatita, let's right begin, attack, fight, win. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not. Alright, it's a 4v4, fair enough. Oh, it's a 3v4, okay. Okay, uh... Gonna put that on... Myself? Here do. Friends. Holy shit, what they? Oh, they have the same spell as me. Well, hot damn. <laughs> Why are you not targeting him? Oh my god. You must have drew them to me or something. Okay. I shall put you in a game. This isn't working. Oh, it didn't even work. Oh shit. Uh I just thrust it. <laughs> the fuck? Thrust. Oh yeah, there it is. And I shall hit you with my. Pistol. I got it. You might learn. Uh oh. Oh shit! They're after him now. Uh. Control stone. What's up, man? you want to join us? Take the All right. 
Genjutsu. Back. AKA Illusions. Okay, and I'll cast the barriers defense. Cast the shield spell. Taradis. <laughs> just chase you in a <laughs> I like how the last one just disengages and just runs in a circle around the land tree and cowardice. Oh my god. That that part was pretty funny, not gonna lie. Anyway. <clears throat> how could humans survive right? The beastman regards you with both curiosity and awe. It's true. Human is strong as Keith. Now bleeds blood of beast women of and tribe. Speak with Red Frank. Beast woman must know. He steps at you as you pass. As you pass, his tongue lulls, stripping saliva on stone as he pants. Human is stone stalker. His first blunt cloth to protect tribe. <laughs> and bada bing bada boom. We got him. Alright, that was actually that was actually not bad. In fact, we steamrolled <laughs> we steamrolled that trial. Yeah, and I guess we're just that powerful. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure Ravon just 1v1 one of them at one of them at least, because for some reason he ran off alone to find a, off one of them. Actually, probably two of them. Actually, no, 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 it was one of them. And he literally killed them in a 1v1. <laughs> so yeah, Ravon's pretty strong. His dual-wielding magic. His dual-wielding magic build. Human has survived Stormstalker's drive right up salvagery and storm. The peaceful man licks the tips of her fingers and sniffs them thoroughly. Red Fang is impressed. Human must be salvage strong to become a... To become as beast woman. Now human is stone stalker. Means human help the tribe rid ancestors lands of elder teeth stealers. Will protect legacy and strength of beast women. Yes. Rowl and bear my teeth. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Her lips part as she pants pleasurably in response to your show of aggression. Her splotchy brown fangs biting into her bottom lip. Hey, she grunts her acceptance. Beast women will trust human who is tribe mate. If needed, tribe will allow Earth Mystics to leave with its teeth already stolen, but cannot steal more. I can never again slink into Stone Stalker's lands. Tell the stealers. All right, doing something that does not compromise my position as a fate binder that will probably result in my death. Hurrah! Hoorah! Not dying! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright! Oh, they're already here! Hello! Saves me the trip. Uh, so we have to kill all of you. That would be unfortunate. We have well met on your return, Fate Binder. I have negotiated a truce with the Stone Stalkers. This is excellent news, Fate Binder. I assume we are able to continue excavating the Azure Lift Loads in service of pure specimens? Not exactly. The Beastmen won't harm you, but only as long as you leave quickly and take. With you, only the crystals you've already harvested. It's not ideal, but I suppose it's better than expected. We will begin our preparations to return to Howling Rock with great haste. I assure you, we will not do we will do no disservice in terms of our agreement. Be sure that you don't. A.
negotiations, actually doing my job as a fate binder. Literally a diplomat. <laughs> Alright, ending this peacefully, not doing things that would normally compromise my position as a fate finder of Juden's core. Right. Uh that's uh, yeah, that's pretty sure that's where Hundred Blood is. That's where the beast that's where the stone stalkers are. The stone stalker tribe. But yeah, Ravon's happy. I'd say Ravon at this point will be happy now that he's part of a new Beastman tribe after everything he's been through. So yeah. Neat. Alright, where is my at? Right here. It's gonna take him a little while to run all the way here. But anyway. All right, negotiations. Sweet. Ravon is so pro beastman. Well, I guess not quite considering. I mean, if he was, he would have probably slaughtered all those his favorite in the area. But and with all honesty, that probably wouldn't do much because if you kill them, more would just come. More reinforcement will just come to the lands. Anyway, human returns to tribe den. Means Earth mystics are dead. The situation has been handled. The beast woman settles on her haunches. She plucks a bug from her knee, examines it idly, then squashes it between thumb and forefinger. Hardy human, she rumbles. Speak. I survived the tribe's right of savagery and stone. A fate two favor, motherfucker. The beast woman leans closer to sniff the air around your shoulders, assessing where she sits back. She huffs, satisfied. Human is first blunt claw to survive tribes right. Welcome, Keith, Stonestalker. Human smells of blood, sweat, and beast smells good. She licks her teeth and upper lip. Prima is pleased that human has joined tribe. I bow. It is an honor. As a representative of the tribe, I was able to peacefully mediate your conflict with the Earthbinders. Since human help try protect Elder Teeth at Baron Baths, Prima will allow passage through Stone Lands. She huffs and glances off into the distance. Follow a path southeast of Tribe Den to reach Howling Rock. Stone Suckers will show you any show way if Faithfinder wanders until lost. Thank you, Prima. Okay, for a second I thought I gained. I thought I gained wrath for some reason. She's not scratching the bridge of her snout with gnarled fingers. Never spent a lot of time with the beasts outside of the gangs, but there's something about these ladies that strikes a good chord. She scratches a hairy teeth and bares her blade, sharp fangs at you in a self-pleased grin. What would human have from Hydra blood? Now that I help you, any chance you'll send some stone stalkers to the Scottish Chorus? Can ask two stone stalkers to fight for Chorus back no more. Thank you, Prima. I'm not gonna ask for him. He's not gonna ask for more. He's at it's respectful. Just to be respectful. She's somewhat surprised, her muscles cord and flex as she rustles her feet. Do not thank Beast Woman, you will understand. Student stalkers do not give freebie, yes. She shoves that looking at you with dangerous fondness. Uh Okay. Uh I don't want to do this though. Mm. Where's the leave option? Okay then. I guess I have no choice. I would like to meet. I would like you to meet with the voices of Narat. 
Hundred Black to Prima to Stone Sockets, Free Beast Woman, and Mystical Many Moons does not answer the cry of humans, especially humans who reek of rot and lies. I assist in your tribe, Prima. You owe me. She grunts unwill her unwilling assent. Humans come from strange pack with blood berserk alphas ruled by insatiable lust for chaos. But Hundred Black can no longer deny Chorus's strength. We'll go. We'll speak with human alpha called voices on Narat. She bobs her massive head and flexes her broad mus muscular shoulders. We assess Archon straight with her eyes and rendering teeth and claws. Be careful, beast woman. Keep your eyes open and your eyes keen when dealing with the Archon. She snorts, scratching the bridge of her snout. Wait, I gained favor for both? Oh, okay then. I guess I'm because I'm teaching her to be more respectful, I guess, and that's also going to be in support of the voices of Narat. She snorts, scratching at the bridge of her snout with gnarled fingers. Okay, fingers crossed that she's not going to get consumed by the voices of Narat, because otherwise this tribe's fucked. Sick. All right. Wait, did it? Did it? Wait, I killed? Well, I Mmm, yikes. Alright, let's see. Fallen leader. Passive, one per encounter. Allied, not self. AoE. Nice, when you're defeated, nearby allies receive a booster. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Alright. Let me see my quests here. Let Octave know that it's... Where's Octave? <laughs> Uh, conscript. Oh yeah, I think they're at the Bouldery Village. Yeah, I'll go check up on them before I go to the Howling Rock. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I hear Ravon in the distance. I got it. Where are you? Grayson, Rancor, Sardra, Agren. Where are you, Octave? Sarah? Nick, where's Octave? What the hell? Uh, Grayson. What's that? Wait, where's Octave? Where's Octave? Sandra... Where is he? Uh... Is he one of... Misery's aides? Cause I don't... Where is Octave? Did I go to the wrong area? Or is it... Or is it back at the cacophony? No. Uh, I guess not here. Unless I got a location wrong. I think it might be at the cacophony. I'm not sure. 
It's probably at the coffin. -y? Uh, I actually have no idea. He's at the cacophony. I'm not sure. I probably I don't remember where Octave was. I thought he was at half gate, but apparently not. Let me try looking it up. I want to get all the side quests done before I proceed with the main quest, so I'll be prepared for a lot of things. That's the marketplace. Beastman fan. Horses in rot. Seven toes. Blood chanter. Scott Fury camp. Where the fuck is he? Did. I Where's Octave? <laughs> uh, let me look it up. Uh, where is Octave? Stone Down Gorge. Oh, he's at the gorge. Oh, I didn't know that. Oops. Anyway, how's the research? Oh, okay, not that far. Okay. Uh. I didn't know he's already at the gorge. That's my bad. Alright. He's down there, yeah. There you are. New York, New York, count on your boss. Me and the gang are heading out. We'll meet you at Howling Rock, yeah? Need something? I was able to get two beasts meant for the chorus. Two? What the piss does that get us? Maybe you're not understanding. We need to bolster our ranks, boss. I mean, really swell them. We don't need more than two mango mutts to take down this spade, but... Two will have to be enough, I'm afraid. So sure there's no way we can concentrate a true extra boss? Explain things to the voices if this whole plan falls apart because we didn't have enough bodies, you know. I've done what I can. Yeah, yeah, all right. He shakes his head and curses. Yeah, he's not. Ravon's not gonna kidnap cubs with this cause. He's not gonna do that. That's yeah. Ravon would heavily be against that, so he would not do that. Oh yeah, what's my power at right now? What's my power level? It's over 1,000. Excellent. Right, uh, I guess... I'll go back to this... i go back to the library spire and have them research another thing. Because I already have like 6 out of 6 recruits, so I should be able to research literally everything. Especially with the amount of scrolls I have right now. So, yeah. The 
library spire. Greetings, Sage Garrus. What's the status of your research? I'm happy to say I've made progress. He beams at you and exhales a welcome breath. Allow me to show you my findings. Scales of Mercy. And just a regular scroll. Scales of Mercy. The Sage's Acre Library com comes with the ancient scrolls, searching for hints of items of power. They find new fragments that mention a set of scales that will say to tip the balance of any battle. The ancient scales were known as the Scales of Mercy. New sages believe that an expert smith may be able to recreate the Scales of Mercy. Sick. Well, I, do I don't have the Forge Spire yet, but yeah. I would like to you to research something. Sigils as much, so I just yeah continue researching and uh Hello Noxia, I think you're a blood chanter Glory to the voices and are not cried to the impressive tower you have your fate finder. It would be ashamed if someone pushed you off the edge <laughs> You managed to twist her arm at an unnatural anger Angle. She grins at the sound of the snapped bones, then headbutts you to break you away from the fight. Daisy shakes her head to refocus, cradling her arm in her other hand. Ow, oh, I wish I could say that I made worse decisions, but this was a bad one. Bad, Noxia. She pinches her arms and squeezes her eyes shut, enduring and relishing the pain in equal measure. Looking for a spa, Fate Binder? I like the train. Uh, do I need a tire? I don't think I need higher. Subterfuge. I want to increase my magics. Because I've been using them a lot. A mage peruses the library with amused expression. It takes a while for her to notice you. Hmm? Faint Binder. I was wondering when I would meet my patron. She bows. Fetty out the forge bound. Before you ask me what a smith is doing away from the forge, well, I'm taking a break from my own work, and this library suits my taste present. This is planned now that you're here. I need to find a step away from the war effort. Assembling the same assembling the same souls and helmets, using our intellect and art to equip an army. She shivers. The war forge bounds are the masters of our craft, but we're artists at heart, and this war has misused our talents. I want to spend some time among these books, recalling what got me interested in arcane in the first place. Did you you should fulfill less of another goal, though I won't know for certain until I get started. She clears her throat. Where shall we begin? Let's talk magic. Uh, I'll upgrade my lore. Did I hit my skill cap? <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. You could use that. Landry becoming even more OP. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll make you a bit more tanky. Because, well, you need that health, man. You need that health. Uh, let's see. Gain shield. Improve slow skill. Yeah, improve your lore even further beyond. <laughs> Sick. Alright. Save here. Yeah. Alright.
Alright, sorry to cut this short, but... But, uh... We shall be participating in the quest... In the main quest next time, as... I got other... As I surely have other events to tend to. But yeah, hopefully this should be a sufficient session for today, and I promise it will, our next session will be a bit longer, especially when we, oh yeah, especially with D and D on Saturday, New Zealand time. So yeah, be it for there. But yeah, farewell.